What's up guys, we're back from the holidays, I hope you had a great holiday break and today we're talking about titans. Punchy, stabby titans with a newly improved Worm God Caress Exotic and a Glaive. Let's begin. Worm God Caress has had its fair share of nerfs and buffs over the years in Destiny 2. It has caused problems for Bungie several times breaking the game, dealing too much damage to the point of being disabled forcing a nerf. But this season it has been updated. The new exotic perk now reads. Defeating a target with melee or a finisher grants escalating melee damage, which decays over time. Higher levels of burning fist also grant increased weapon damage. Compared to the old description that simply said, melee kills increase melee damage for a period of time, additional kills extend duration and increase effects. So two things to notice here, they have added finishers into the description and also increasing weapon damage at higher levels of burning fist so they added a weapon damage boost to it as well. In case you run out of close range enemies to melee and need to switch to a long range weapon. Let's build up on that, and this is where glaives shine, since the glaive melee works amazingly well with worm gods, especially the exotic glaive Vex Caliber from the Avalon exotic mission. Other glaives can work too, but none as good as Vex Caliber. Here's why. M1R distribution matrix. Fires a spread, equipped with a quick draining shield. Blocking damage with your shield gradually bestows Void Overshield to yourself and nearby allies, so you're not only becoming a glaive stabbing machine but also support for your teammates. But it gets better. Perpetual Loophole Deal additional damage while protected by an overshield, so there's a damage buff. Defeating targets with a melee final blows while the overshield is active will refresh it. The overshield applied from blocking with a glaive lasts 8 seconds, so you have 8 seconds to land a melee kill to refresh it back up to 8. So where are we so far? Glaive melee blocking gives you and teammates overshield. Kills extend the overshield. And each glaive melee kill increases damage with the Worm God's exotic. This will only get a million times better with the subclass aspects, fragments and all the armor mods, and we'll get there in a second. Now for kinetic and heavy weapons, I like Season of Defiance weapons partially because of the origin trait, Noble Deeds, which grants these weapons increased handling and reload speed when you assist allies with overshields and healing. So in my kinetic slot I have a bow, with Archer's Tempo and Explosive Head since I want some decent long range weapon. Or you can go for something strand like the Crotus End Scout to take advantage of the origin trait Curse Thrall. After a melee kill, kills with this weapon makes targets explode. And for my heavy, I'm using the Regnant Grenade Launcher, with auto-loading holster and explosive light. But honestly, there's so many other great options like the Epic Predator rockets from Last Wish, it is totally up to your preference. What really matters here is the Vex Caliber. Now moving on to our strand subclass, Shackle Grenades for emergencies, and because there's too much fun to use. Banner of War, see recently Bungie attempted to nerf Banner of War, but it's just as good as before. The description reads, Defeat a target with a melee attack, finisher, or sword to raise Banner of War that pulses with energy, periodically healing nearby allies and increasing melee and sword damage. Targets defeated by you and nearby allies charge the banner, increasing the speed of the pulses. So not only we're going to have our 8 second overshield with Vets Caliber, but also giving us and teammates Banner of War on top of it, giving void shields and strand healing to your teammates. And then we have Into the Fray, which gives a woven male shield to your allies when you destroy a tango or cast your super. More shields. But this one could be replaced for something like Fletch's Storm since it's so much fun to use and we already have plenty of shields. But be aware, Fletch's Storm cannot be activated when you have your glaive out. Moving on to the fragments we're using. But first, if you find this informative, please help me out with a like and consider subscribing to help the content reach other players like you. Our first fragment is the Thread Rewarding, which gives us Woven Mail when we pick up an Orb of Power. Next is the Thread of Regeneration. Dealing damage generates grenade energy for our Shackle Grenade. Then the Thread of Finality. Finisher kills create Threadlings. And last, the Thread of Continuity. Suspend, Unravel and Sever effect applied have increased duration. And that's the subclass, now let's go over the armor mods. On the helmet we have Ashes to Assets and Hands On for Super Energy, then Radiant Light to give teammates armor charges when we cast our super. Next we have Focusing Strike and Impact Induction to get both Ability Energy and Reduce Grenade cooldown when causing damage with a power melee, and Heavy Handed to create Orbs of Power with melee kills. 
On our chest, we have emergency reinforcements to get an armor charge when collecting an orb of power and gain temporary damage reduction when our shields are broken. And a melee damage resistance, since we will be in close proximity with the enemy, we need some kind of melee resistance. On our legs, we have Void Weapon Surge, so our Void Weapons gain a small damage bonus while the Armor Charge is active. Each Armor Charge lasts 10 seconds, so collecting 3 orbs of power gives you 30 seconds of a Void Weapon damage boost, since the Armor Charges decay over time with this mod. Remember that if your shields are broken during those 30 seconds, Emergency Reinforcements will use your Armor Charges to give you a temporary damage reduction instead of the Void Weapon damage boost. And we also have the Absolution mod to reduce all ability cooldowns each time you pick up an Orb of Power. Moving on to the class item, we have a Bomber mod to reduce grenade cooldown using your Barricade. Then an Empowered Finish to give us an Armor Charge when performing a Finisher. So now, performing a Finisher gives us Banner of War, which is healing and increased melee damage for you and teammates, creates Threat Links, Gives us increased melee damage with our Womb God Caress Exotic and the Burning Fist Exotic perk. And it also gives you an armor charge to use as a Void Weapon Damage Boost or Emergency Reinforcements if needed. Pretty nuts. And the last thing we have is a Reaper mod to create an orbital power if we are struggling behind the cover of our barricade and we get a weapon kill. For your stats, I would recommend having your Resilience maxed out and then recovery at tier 5 or higher if possible then everything else in Grenade, to try and get our Shackle Grenade back fast. Intellect and Strength isn't really necessary with this build, as we will have Orbs of Power for that. So with this Strand Titan build, we'll be abusing the Vex Caliber Exotic Glaive with our Worm God Caress Exotic Arms. Each Glaive melee kill or finisher will increase the damage of the next melee, while also giving you and your teammates an 8 seconds Void Overshield and activating Banner of War. Finishers and picking up Orbs of Power will grant us Armor Charges, which will give us 10 seconds of Void Weapon Damage Boost with a Void Search mod, or reducing incoming damage if our shields break with the Emergency Reinforcements mod, making us an unkillable Glaive Monster. This build is honestly a great support build for Nightfalls and higher level activities like exotic missions and dungeons with friends, so you can give them shields and healing all the time. I hope you give this a try and let me know what you think. My name is Tavius, I thank you for your viewership, Discord and Patreon information is down in the description and if you want to watch other fun Destiny 2 videos you can click here.